Hi guys, welcome to this video. As you can see, it is our first snowfall of the season. Jack and I thought, what a better way to celebrate the snowfall than to come down here and make a yummy warm stew for lunch. I know this is a little odd for some of you to see, but I am cooking on a bed. And just think of this as our little counter space. So the main ingredients for this beef stew are peppers, potatoes, celery, carrots, garlic, cumin, paprika, salt, vegetable broth, the beef, and diced tomatoes. We're gonna make this stew over the fire, which means I gotta get a fire started. But then while it's cooking, we are going to install a solar power system into the cabin. And by install, we're basically just setting it down in there. We've got a Jackery Explorer 1000, and I am so stoked to finally have off-grid power in the tiny A-frame. I don't know what it is, you guys, but there isn't celery in your stew. I don't know, it just feels like it's not complete. I'm going to cut up the onion. Hopefully not cry and shed a tear. All right, so we're all done prepping. Let's go throw this baby on the fire. All right, Rai's gonna do the honors. She's putting her on the tripod. Mm. Don't you guys just love that sound? Just get a little bit of browning in there. Nothing like cooking over a fire. They sound like monkeys. Is that the broth? This is the vegetable broth. You can use any kind of broth you like. And now we wait. All right, guys, now while we wait for the stew to cook, I'm super excited to finally be installing some solar. Not only is this gonna power our lights in here, but it's gonna be able to power anything else we need. Our diesel heater when it's really, really cold and also like our laptops and stuff like that that we like to use when we're down here. So let's take this inside. We're gonna hook up our lights and then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna use our solar panels. So if you come over here and take a look, this is our old power pack here. We're gonna unplug that and we're going to hook up our extension cord right here. You can see it connects like that. We are going to run our extension cord back behind the couch here. So we're gonna take our second extension cord, plug our lamp into that. This thing's got two uh, USB ports, so we're in luck there. And now we're gonna turn on our power. Now let's see if these work. Woohoo! Woo! Yeah, it works! Woo! 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 All right! Let's get these solar panels set up. And I'm gonna place this one right here. So I wanna note that these are portable solar panels. You don't wanna just leave them out here all the time because they will get wrecked. So you put them out here when you wanna charge and then you bring them back in. If you look down here, this is the port for running power out to our diesel heater when we have that thing hooked up here. But it also is going to double as our pass through into the cabin for routing our solar panels. So all you have to do is plug this into the port right up here. And now we are officially drawing in some solar power. Do you see that blue light? That means we've got power going in. Now what's really funny is we're literally only bringing in one watt of power, <laughs> but that's because it's 3.30 on a, uh, a winter's eve. In the bright sunny day, this thing will be drawing in tons of power. And uh, yeah, I am super stoked. 
So if you're looking for a portable power station of your own, Jackery's got you covered with a 30% off of the Jackery Explorer 1000 and discounts on many of their other products for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. You can check out the link in the description of this video to find all of the information that you need. And now, let's get back to our beef stew. I am eager to eat. Oh my Ooh. gosh, that looks good. Look at all the juices. Oh, this is about to be delicious. It's perfect. What do you say? Are we ready to eat? Yes. All right. I'm going to dish it out to you. Oh, we're going to have leftovers. Oh, yeah. Off the top. Cool. I'll take the spoon. I feel like this this is satisfying, but this would be so much more satisfying if we grew our own crops. Yeah. But that's the dream, right? For sure. All right. So this is my portion. I'll probably get seconds. Let's be real. All right. Moment of truth. Here. Cheers. Oh yeah. You can taste the paprika. Mm -hmm. The beef Ooh. is cooked perfectly too. Mm -hmm. It's very chewy. It's not overdone. I mainly taste the paprika, the tomato, the diced tomatoes, the juice from the meat. I taste that. Yeah, totally. All right, you guys, that is the video. Thank you so much for watching. There's nothing like making a stew over a fire. Totally. To me, it tastes better personally. Maybe it's just the process itself. It's pretty awesome. So I encourage you guys to get out there and maybe do the same. And comment below with some of your favorite stew recipes. We'd love to see them. But yeah, that's it for this video. And we will see you guys next time.